All right, so Chadwick Boseman's death from colon cancer at just 43 years old last August really raised awareness about colon cancer, especially for the African-American community. I want you to take a look at these numbers. The CDC says African-Americans are 20% more likely to get colorectal cancer and 40% more likely to die from it than any other group. Also, let's break it down even further. One in 41 black men will die from colorectal cancer compared to one in 48 white men. Women face the similar risk. One in 44 black women compared to one in 53 white women will die from the disease. March is Colon Cancer Awareness Month. This morning we're joined by one of New York's very own hip hop pioneers who's currently recovering from colon cancer surgery. The Kangle Kid from the 80s yeah. rap group. You know him well, U2, UTFO. <laughs> Joining us now live with the very latest. Good morning to you. Good morning, guys. How are you? First off, glad you're feeling and, and you are pulling through and feeling better. Yeah, you and look I want to get an update on your condition. First off, 54 years old, yes. you don't look a day over 21. Mm -hmm. um, you are too kind. But Thank it's, you. It's been about two weeks since you underwent surgery, right? After being diagnosed yes. with colon yes. cancer. So, how are you feeling right now? I'm feeling much better. Much better. Um, I can I can go better now. Okay. If you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh um, yeah. No, yeah, that's yeah, really important. Yeah, so some people a, have to have a blockage. their yeah. entire colon removed. Others have to have a section yeah. removed. There's a lot of decisions when it comes to fighting colon cancer, right? Yes, uh, I had a section mm -hmm. removed uh, upon um, the results from my colonoscopy. Um, there was a so actually, it was 10 centimeters from what I was told, and uh, they had to remove that. So it's basically like connecting pipes. So they remove a piece of yeah. the pipe and then put the rest mm -hmm. together, and that's what I underwent. So look, you, you found out that you had colon cancer in early February, right? A lot of people, yes. they worry about going to get what you just said, which is that colonoscopy, right? There's that fear. They wonder if they're the right age or whatnot. What prompted you to get checked out? Was it some kind of pain? Well, um, you know, in, in terms of pain, there was definitely discomforts, you know, in, in, in the belly, of course. Um, one of the signs that you would see immediately is bleeding, mm -hmm. um, you know, upon, and, and you'll notice this as, as you wipe, um, or you'll see it in your stool. And um, so I was definitely experiencing that. But what really set it off for me to say, I, I absolutely need to see a doctor, is um, at one point, you know, in the comfort of my own room, my own bedroom, and um, I had to... Uh, past gas mm -hmm. and it came out with substance mm. so i ran to the bathroom real quick to see what was that and it was a bloody mucus mm. and at that point i said okay stop playing kang go to the hospital go see a doctor and uh that's what led to the colonoscopy. I'm really glad you're being descriptive about this yeah, because a lot of people don't know the signs. They, they hear like the generic right. version, right? And, and it doesn't resonate. So for you to be so descriptive it could possibly save lives. Um, so I do appreciate yeah, that. For sure. And that's why I'm here. I mean, mm -hmm. if this interview can save one person's exactly. life, then it was absolutely worth it. And to hear from you, right? Because you're getting real with it. And I, and I think that's the whole thing. There's like this whole thing. Oh, well, I'm, I'm, I'm not, not sure if I'm the right age and a colonoscopy. No way I'm having something put up there. No. So the stats well, say that black Americans are more likely to yeah. die from this disease. That is important yes. to put out there. What was your yes. initial reaction, though, when your doctor said you had colon cancer? I didn't believe it. You know, I mean, that's the last thing you want to hear. You know, you, you see stuff like this on TV or you hear about someone else who has it. And when those words were said to me, it, I totally... Like I, I fell out inside, mm -hmm. you know. Um, but uh, you know, I, I stood up after a while. Of course, I you know spoke to my my friends, my very good friends, who kept my spirits up through all of this. And my mentality just changed on the, you know, you got to fight this. Exactly. You know, it, it, one of the things you think of immediately is family. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. the first place your head goes, you know, because I have a five-year-old little girl. I have three oh. grown men, you know, boys. But nice. my five-year-old hmm. is the one that made me say. You know, I, I gotta go be cares. Absolutely, you gotta stay around for her. Now, ironically, you were actually honored by the American Cancer Society, what, back in 2012 for your work yes. in raising awareness about cancer at the death of a loved one. So does colon cancer run in your family? No, not at all. You know, um, you know, my dad had a bout with uh, prostate, which he beat that, and uh, he's currently dealing with uh, a, a blood version of cancer. I'm not sure what that's called, lymphoma or something. I'm not yeah. sure what the name is. Yeah. So, um, uh, but in terms of colon cancer, no, you know, and I told my sons, you know, get yourselves checked early because now you can say it's hereditary. Right. But prior to this, it was not. No one in my family before me 
has ever had this. And when you came out, you know, you shared your diagnosis very publicly and you were talking about it on social media as well, but I think it was so important that you also got so much support from the hip hop community. And I wanna just play some of the messages that you received. Okay, sure. Big up to you, Kango. You know, you, we all got your back, you a hip hop guy. You are 100% hip hop, and uh, without you, it ain't the same. I love you, man, you know what I'm saying? And I'm wishing you nothing but the best and nothing but strength, man, through all of this, Kango. And, I, and you can do it. You can do it. You're going to beat this, bro. You're yes, going to beat this. Ain't nothing going to keep my boy down. <laughs> and you can see the emotion in your face yeah. right there. But what has the recovery journey been like for you post-surgery? Um, it's my fans, actually, are the ones that have made me heal quicker. I can't even lie about that. Um, you know, the amount of support I've been getting through social media, um, you know, they, they've actually healed me. They've made me feel like I have purpose and uh, that I touch them. And what they don't know, and I'm sharing with you guys now, is that they're touching me. Okay. So, in, 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 so in terms of recovery, I'm, I feel great. Good. And I'm going to attribute Good. a lot of that to them. Well, you look great. You sound great. You. Uh, we also want to hear what we may be seeing more of you this doing. This is my right? kind of Tell show. This, new show <laughs> this is about. my kind of show right here. Fairy tale <laughs> lover, right? Yes. Well, that show is going to be for the fans. Um, there's a lot of you know fans out there that crushes on various celebrities, and uh, this is an opportunity for a few women to get together, compete for an opportunity to live the, uh, a day in the life of the celebrity that they've crushed on for how long. And so uh, I will be uh, okay. The, 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 the guinea pig, I guess. I'll be the first one, the first fairy tale lover. Ooh. And uh, we'll, we'll start shooting in, uh, in the summer. And uh, I think it's going to be a great show for the fans. I, I Are you can't pulling out all the get... stops as this fairy tale lover? Yes, yes, yes. We're going to make this. What does that mean? So wait, wait a second. <laughs> so did, did this mean at the end? Okay, so if you're not booed well, it's up. It's not a love connection. No, it's not a love connection. <laughs> I mean, look, look, hey. We're gonna keep cameras rolling. If anything pops off, it's you know it's gonna be recorded, okay. it's gonna be filmed, you know. But the, the the basis of the show is really to make a fan's fairy tale come true and give them that moment yeah. to the pattern with their celebrity crush. All right. That is fun. Hey, it's so good to talk to you. And we're so happy that you're doing well. We do want to wish you Thank a you. continued speedy recovery. I think you just melted a lot of Thank hearts you. this morning, right? Yeah, you should. Wow. And maybe save some lives. You. OG is crushing okay. on you. I see them across yeah. the studio. Is that, is that OG crushing? <laughs> oh, she's always crushing. She's yeah, had yeah. a crush for how long? Is that OG crushing in the back over there? Yeah, that's OG crushing. Look at her. Yeah, yeah. We have been producing his segments for like more than 10 years. So yeah. that's how I know yes. him. Uh -huh. He's, been a, he's been a peak celebrity family member forever, so. I know. Yes, absolutely. Hey, Love thank you. you. Thank you for being here. Good to see you. We wish you such a, a continued speedy recovery. Come back and let us know, okay? Keep us posted on yes. your recovery. Best so thank you so you. much. Good to talk to you.